everyone welcome back to our channel so this this week's video is highly requested some of my friends were asking me what products i use on my hair so today i want to show those products so before i continue i want us to know that we all have different hair so my hair might not be the same as yours and the products that my hair will take might not be the same products that your hair will take. So keeping that in mind, my very first product is this shampoo. Shea Moisture Shampoo and my brand is Shea Moisture for all my products. So this shampoo retains moisture and this is what my hair wants. Before I used shampoos that would leave my hair so dry, I would think, oh, because my hair was dirty, so this shampoo is washing out my hair. But the hair would remain so dry and coarse and eventually it would break. So those shampoos were not what my hair needed. But whenever I use this shampoo, my hair remains soft and it gets an oily texture and you really see oil. The hair is oily. So I love this shampoo because it does retain the moisture. So that's my first product. Once I'm done washing out the shampoo, I then use a hair tea rinse. Okay, same brand. I use the tea rinse together with the reconstructor. So I put them into my hair, cover my hair with a hair cap and leave it on for about 5-10 minutes. And then I wash it out. Once I'm done washing it out, I use my conditioner. Same brand. The conditioners that I used before would leave my hair so soft and like slimy on my head. And eventually it would break. So I know products that have mayonnaise, eggs, they just don't do so well for my hair. So this product is so good. And it does the job it conditions my hair so I love it once I put in the conditioner I cover my hair again with a hair cap I leave it on for about minimum 30 minutes give or take and then I go wash it out once I'm done washing it out I I use a cotton cloth I have a particular cotton cloth cotton shirt for that job to put out excess water from my hair and then I use a leave-in conditioner. This is optional, but because I have the product in the house, I use it. And this conditioner has an option to be rinsed out, but I leave it in. Once I'm done the conditioner, I then use oil. My friends, our hair needs oil. So I use this a uh, hair growth oil from zillions we sell this oil on our website check it out zillions.com it has aloe vera moringa avocado and castor oil all these oils are very good for the hair now i use this oil from the scalp through the strands of the hair once i'm done using the oil i then use my leave-in treatment <laughs> my friends you know how we are so religious at using our conditioners I'm so religious at using my treatment. I might skip a step in my hair wash routine, but I never skip my treatment. I love leave-in treatments more than rinse outs. So I prefer this. Before I used to use some treatments that would leave my hair so soft and eventually breaks. But this is so good it has a sugarcane extract and it smells so good so my hair loves this this treatment and the other treatments before would leave my hair so wet but this one does not wet my hair so much so once i'm done applying those products i leave my hair to dry most times i air dry my hair i would rather it dries on its own that way i minimize heat that i would be putting on my hair if i use a blow dryer I only use a blow dryer if I have to be rushing out of the house. Other than that, I leave my hair to air dry and it doesn't take long. Once it's once it's dry, I use a detangler. Okay? Before, I never used to use uh, detanglers, but I learned my lesson. My hair would break so bad, but now this detangler is it's cream-based 
and when I use it, it I use my fingers and it detangles any clumps in the hair. It does the job so well. I've used detanglers that are so water based and they just never did the job. And imagine these were popular brands on the hair market, but I would use them and they would leave my hair wet and instead of detangling the clump, they would just take out my hair. You know, my hair would just come out. The, the detangled part would just come out. So those detanglers were just not for me. Until I found this, my hair is happy and it has extra moisture, which is good for my hair. So once I'm done detangling my hair, I make three plaits if I'm going to stay home. If I have to go out, then I will make a style and I go. Other than that, I try to minimize combing, brushing, or tampering with my hair. I let it rest, I let it be. When I'm home, my hair is resting. So that's what I basically do with my hair and that those are the products that I use. So my friends, there you have it. <laughs> those are the products, check them out. I get these products from Walmart and they are there in Shoppers Drug Mart and most of the stores have them. And then the other thing I want, I want you to know is simply because a product is popular does not mean it will work for you. Okay. Keep that in mind when you're testing out your products. I've seen people who are allergic to aloe vera and imagine, I know it. Aloe vera is so good and many people will tell you it is so good for the hair and the skin. But when these people use it, the hair breaks and their skins break out. You know, and the same to share butter. Some people are allergic to it. They use it and their skins just break out their hair breaks. So you just need to use a product that works for you, not a product that's popular. Try them out. If something is leaving your hair dry, it is leaving your hair breaking. It's you don't see any improvement with your hair. Stop using it. Test something else. Maybe there's something that's just not working for you in that product. Some products that are not so popular may be the products that your hair needs. Okay, so don't fear to test out products. Check them out <laughs> until you find something that will work for you. So that's it. If anybody has any more questions that they would want me to answer about hair or how to do something in regard to hair, leave the questions in the comments section below and I will try my best to answer them or to show you how to do some of the things. So um, that's it for our video. <laughs> I hope this video will help somebody. Please share it so somebody can know or can try out these products. It may help uh, to improve someone's hair growth journey. So my friends, that's the end of our video for this week. Thank you so much for coming by to watch our video. If you're new, thank you so much for coming by and please consider subscribing to the channel. All those who have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. And until next week, cheers. Bye.